All right, Dan Campbell says after Detroit Lions lose to the Pittsburgh Steelers that um, he, you know, said they get more clarity on the back of quarterback situation. Um, but he said that Jeff Okuda has won the starting quarterback job, number two starting quarterback job opposite of Marnie Rarie, um over Will Harris. Now, um, check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Now, you have to ask yourself, would he had won that competition if Jerry Jacobs was healthy? Obviously, Bobby Price, he got smoked yesterday versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. But you have to ask yourself, would Jeff Okuda would have won that spot versus Jerry Jacobs? I just think it's still about money. Um, I didn't see Will Harris make too many bad plays out there. Um, you know, we seen Jeff Okuda got got iced out there versus the uh, Indianapolis Colts. He had a good game versus the Steelers. Uh, defended the rookie George Pickens really, really well. But you know, the, on, the honest question is, um, when the fire get the pan, um, if he stay healthy and he out there struggling, how long are they gonna stay with him? We know it's coming. Um, we know it's coming, and, and it's a bad matchup versus Philadelphia. We talking about Devontae Smith and AJ Brown. Um, they may trade Jalen Rieger, uh, but a lot of and then they got that 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 fast dude from the Olympics. I don't know if you can live, but he really really fast. So, you know, we seen today Pittsburgh took a lot of shots down the field. Marnie Arroyo struggled with Deshaun Elliott, didn't get over the top. I mean, then you look at the Miami matchup. You look at some of the matchups that they got coming to a theater near you, and it, you know, Philadelphia is just a bad matchup. Miles Sanders will be healthy this year. Um, it's a bad matchup. You look at the Commanders. Carson Wentz. He can play football, you know, when he's healthy. Terry McLaren, Damani Brown, I believe they uh, also took Johan Dotson from Penn State. You know what I'm saying? Um, but Adam Thielen and, and Justin Jefferson, these all consecutive weeks coming up. The Seahawks, okay, they got Geno starting. No offense to Geno. Um, Patriots, and I heard they struggling. You know, the Cowboys eh, kind of downgraded weapons. Then you get Miami, so then you get Green Bay, Town Gray, Bears. Jeff, Justin Justin Fields is looking really good. I'm rooting for him. I always root for the black quarterbacks, um, but I don't root for the Bears. I just want to see him do well. So <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see. But um, question: I just think it's all the way all about money. Can y'all say definitively that Will Harris <laughs> lost his job? Is the big dollar question. Can we say this with all with all seriousness that Will Harris lost his job? I can't say that he did. And I don't think uh, Jeff Okuda really wanted. I don't think Will Harris was ever, you know, was ever serious in his job, in his race, seriously. You know, I don't think he was ever in his job. I just think it was a sham. And it was, I told y'all, it was Jeff Okuda's job regardless. You know, and I just think that's what it was. It's all about the money, paying them top three money. He, the board's going to want to know why he ain't playing, even though that wasn't their pick. Even though it wasn't their pick. Okay, even though it wasn't their pick. They're they, they going to know why he ain't playing. But um, listen, we're going to learn out. We, a lot of they going to go after him week one. I hope you do know that. And, you know, if he ain't ready, and like I said before, it's not like he, like, he just too slow. It's like, to, from my vantage point, just thinking about the plays in his small NFL career, is me thinking about the plays. It's just think, it's just like he's not second nature to him. It's like he's thinking too much. He be strive for stride with those guys. You know, and then they catch the ball over him. He be in a lot of those positions. He in play, he be in play, he be – in position to make great plays on the ball. He just don't make plays on the ball. Remind me when the Lions had those uh those corners who just refused to get their head around, like Bill Bentley, Aaron Berry. I don't know what it is about Lions with they coaching them and their cornerbacks failing to get their head turned around. And it's the hardest position to play outside of quarterback in the NFL. It's a very, very difficult position to play. And it's a very position, different position to be around for 10 years playing. Don't forget that. Not too many people around, you know, uh, playing cornerback for 
15, 17 years at a high level, once your athleticism drop off, it's, it's pretty much a wrap. It's pretty much a wrap. You know, it's, it's all the rap. So it's not an easy position. It's not like, oh, you can Joe Smoke and get off the couch and you can get off the couch and do the job. No. You know, you have to be an elite athlete to do the job. And question is, when Jerry Jacobs get healthy or, you know, when the time comes and he's struggling, how long are they going to stay with him? And I think he out there. I think he out there because of financial reasons. And I'm going to always say that. Because the abuse that he took out there from the Indianapolis coach, dude, and it's only practice, and then they turn around, and then they turn around and – they show him uh they show him uh they show him like getting a little swat of ball in the flat or on, on short and short i mean swatting the ball now like i said before the into the fours get his team up they're not gonna run like a successful franchise i'm sorry they're not gonna be ran like a successful franchise this is all about money we paying him this money he gotta play so hopefully hopefully he he up for the challenge Hopefully he up for the challenge. That's that's pretty much all you can say. Hopefully he up for the challenge. Cause if he not, you know, and you gotta talk about his injuries. Maybe physically he just can't keep up. I just think he'd be in position to make plays he don't make them. That's my opinion on it. But maybe physically. He, you know, he maybe need a switch to safety. We seen his reacting to switching to safety. It was like it wasn't a team player reaction. But the question is, is the countdown? Is the countdown until? Is the countdown until? Uh, until turmoil come? Until adversity come? How would he answer the? How would he answer the? Uh, the call, but. I don't really think this ever was a competition between him and Will Harris. The job was always his, and it's as simple as that. And like I said, uh, the Lions operate off of the, they operate off the money system. That's how they operate, off a dollar. Hate to break it to y'all. But then uh, Dan Campbell went on to say that they got clarity on the quarterback position. Like I said before, the Lions, man, under uh, – under, uh, Brad Brad Holmes are always a day late and a dollar short. Always, it's, it's, it it never fails. What what I see and what fans see, they don't see it to us too late. We knew that neither one of these dudes was a viable number two option. They wasn't Sean um, Hill. They wasn't uh, Brian Hoyer, or they wasn't uh, even Mike fucking McMahon or uh, Drew Stanton was the name I was looking for. We knew that coming in, but they didn't know that. They didn't know that. And instead of going out there and taking a third round flyer on a guy like Malik Willis or the other year taking a flyer on Davis Mills, right? Instead of getting somebody that can learn and eventually be capable, they go they go out and get Tim Boyle. David Blog is an adequate third back, third round backup, third backup quarterback. Tim Boyle should not be in this freaking league. Straight up and down. He wouldn't even be he wouldn't even be a viable option for the USFL. He would suck there too. And for them not to go out there and, and, and get a veteran like Jacoby Brissett, you know, get somebody like that. But then again, it makes no sense neither uh, that they didn't do that. And they didn't go out there and get somebody young with potential. Right? Who did they take in the third round this year? I I, I don't know. Let me see. But it's just like quarterback is not an option. It's like quarterback is not an option for them. They feel like they feel, they feel very, very comfortable with Jared Goff. We know that's not the case. Kirby Joseph went in reality. Well, he, yeah, they didn't have a second round pick. So, third round, yeah. In reality, um, they just, they just, they just ignorant to their needs, bro. You're not going to win this league by a quarterback. And if you get your, your main quarterback go down, you're going to need a backup quarterback. And we all know that. 
We all know that. And they just seem to can't they seem to can't figure that out. You know, they seem to can't figure that out. And that's and that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's crazy. That's crazy to me. That's something so obvious. Um that's something so obvious. It's literally very, very obvious. You know, but like I said before, they failed to they failed to address it. Right? They failed to address it before. They failed to address it now. Well, now what they gonna do? Honestly, well, now what they gonna do? They needed the draft one. And that's the first thing that GM should do. Get some type of quarterback that's yours, young, or you know, one of the veteran guys you like on the team. That's the first thing you should do. The very first thing you do. And Brad Holmes trying to do it, you know, his way. And if you're scared to evaluate a cornerback, just fucking say that. <laughs> Cause Jared Goff ain't the answer neither. So there's the answer nowhere on this team. You're trying to build this, this, this like a pyramid, everything perfect then. Put the quarterback as a cherry on top. What Seattle did was a fucking mistake with Russell Wilson. What Dallas did was a mistake with uh, uh, Dak Prescott. Um, it was a mistake. You know, um, but right now it's Ryan Fitzpatrick, Cam Newton, uh, Mike Glennon, AJ McCarron, Brent Hulley, Garrett Gilbert, Nate Stanley, K Kevin Hogan, Jace Jake Luton. Uh, and some other guys that I just don't never heard of. So they're not gonna get Cam. Um, but it is what it is. And they asked him, is the answer on this roster? He said, Well, I don't I don't want to I don't want to answer that right now. We got clarity. So they let you know they might be looking at the waiver wire for a quarterback or the trade for a quarterback and um and back to quarterback. So let's see. But um uh, we all knew this last year. We all went in with the same three quarterbacks. And then this year, I went in with the same three quarterbacks. The Lions just don't hire the smartest people in the world, bro. They just don't. But, hey, she got Detroit Lions to our playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live and drop video. Financial, you want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo CJ Good 313 PayPal link description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor Cash at Venmo, PayPal, uh, Twitter, all the way. Appreciate the love, support. One time for the one time. Peace.